Here's what an Ethernet switch looks like. Or a switch. It all depends on what you want to call it. Here on the front of the switch, we have 48 fast Ethernet ports, which is used to connect equipment such as PCs. And we have two ports in Gigabit Ethernet to be able to connect it to a router or another switch. Behind the switch, in general, we find the console port to be able to administer it and the electrical plug, which allows it to be fed. The majority of switches start automatically as soon as you connect the power supply. If this is a first start, make sure that the console cable is connected and that the terminal program is launched before plugging it in electrically. This allows you to monitor the startup process. Because when it starts, all the LEDs start flashing and a series of tests are done to ensure its proper operation. They say the switch fits in POST condition. The POST is the first step in deploying a switch. When the switch is running normally, the LEDs flash green, and if they malfunction, they flash orange. To the left of the switch, you can see six LEDs and a MODE button. The first LED informs the general state of the system. If it is turned off, the switch is not on. If it is green, it is energized and works properly, which means the iOS has been loaded. And if it's orange, it means that all the tests in the post process haven't been validated, and therefore the iOS hasn't been loaded. The second LED informs the condition of the second power supply, if there is one which is used for switch redundancy. The STAT LED informs the general condition of the port. The one at is duplex mode. If lit, it is in full duplex, and if off, it is in half duplex. Then we have the speed of the port. If turned off, it's 10 mega. If fixed green, it's 100 mega. And if green flashing, it's one gigabit per second. And the latest LED informs the PoE state of the system. Some switches have self-powered ports, very useful, for example, to power IP phones. The mode button provides information on the state of the switch, especially in combination with LEDs, stat, duplex, and speed. But most admins use it instead to make a password recovery by holding it back for 10 seconds. So among all these LEDs, the one that needs to be looked at first is the LED system. Unlike a computer, Cisco switches don't have a keyboard, mouse, and monitor to set it up. When it first starts, it needs to be set up from a PC that will be connected directly to its console port. To do this, you need a cable console. It's just a RJ45 adapter in DB9. And you need communication software, like HyperTerminal configured with the same settings as in the image. So if you don't have a DB9 port on your PC, you'll have to use a USB adapter in series port. On new Cisco devices, a direct USB connection is even available. When a connection to the console is made, the user mode is accessed by default. To start the configuration, you have to go into preferred mode using the enable command. Once connected, it is possible to check the status of the software and hardware using several show commands to run in privilege mode. The show interface command displays information about the switch's network interfaces. Generally, this command is used followed by the interface we want to display, as in the example show interfaces fast ethernet 0/1. This command releases a lot of information about the port. Here we see that the fast Ethernet 01 interface is up as well as the protocol, which means that the port works properly. You can also see its MAC address, and it is configured in full duplex with a speed of 100 megas. The show version command allows you to check several interesting points, such as, notably, 
the version of the iOS. In this example, it is the iOS release 1.5.0 SE3. Very useful if we have to call on support. It also shows the uptime time switch, which shows the running time since its start. Convenient to find out if the switch has been restarted. Here we see that it was restarted 15 hours and 30 minutes ago. The image system line shows the revision of the iOS that was loaded at startup. The show running config command displays the switch's full configuration file. There is a lot of information, such as the IP address, the subnetwork mask, and the default gateway.